Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Know Before You Go for Mila tonight. Uh, we'll give everyone just a few minutes. It looks like we've got people joining us. Um, so, but welcome. My name is Nicole Noder. I'm the Senior Director of Conferences and Events. And with me tonight, I have Brianne Martin. Brianne is, mm -hmm. go ahead and introduce yourself, Brianne. Absolutely. So I oversee our membership and chapters department. We're incredibly excited to welcome you all. Um, we'll just have a quick overview and then be able to answer questions. So uh, feel free to drop the questions in the Q&A uh, or in the chat and we'll uh, we look forward to supporting you tonight. Awesome. Well, thank you everyone for joining us. I know we are really looking forward to seeing you all in Orlando next week. Um, so we just wanted to put this together to help uh, guide you along the way. So um, hopefully yesterday you received your know before you go email. Um, with that should have all the information that you need um, with um, all the links and everything as well. So you should have also received at this point your confirmation email for your hotel as well. So if you're not seeing any of those, please let us know. All right. No, before you go, if you have any questions, you're not seeing your confirmation, need some assistance, please email the events team at neela at ship.org. Or if you have any questions about membership, chapters, anything there, Brianne and her team are monitoring the chapters at ship.org. So both of us are watching that as we're leading up to this. So please feel free to reach out if we can help you in any way. Um, you should have received your Authentico book um, some people had a hard copy, some people had audio, some people had PDFs. So if you had audio or PDF, you should have gotten an email with that, um, or those who ordered hard copy should have gotten that in the mail. If you have not received yours, please let us know, but hopefully everyone by this point has received the type of book that you selected during registration. Um, also, before you go, make sure and upload your resume. Our sponsors and our companies who will be joining us at NELA will be looking at your resumes through our online career center. Um, if you need the link, please check in the know before you go email. The link is right there. It takes you right to where you need to upload your resume. Rules of behavior. Um, there is a link to the rules of behavior. We do ask that you follow those while you're on site with us. Uh, we want to make sure everyone has a safe, healthy, and enjoyable time while you are with us. Uh, personal items. Don't forget to pack your personal items, medication, uh, pajamas, all those kind of things that you need when you're traveling. So we're telling you what to wear during the day, but also don't forget your personal items. Um, and even if um, you will have some casual time or some hangout time, so you're wearing stuff during the day, but don't forget to pack maybe some of those casual stuff for the evening when you're hanging out with all your new friends that you're gonna meet next week. Um, and then also Orlando is hot and humid at this time of the year. So if you're not familiar with hot and humid, uh, can be a little sticky, everyone's gonna feel a little sweaty. Um, also, um, it can tend to rain unexpectedly in Orlando. So um, there will be times where you're coming from your hotel building room to the conference center or one of the meeting rooms and you will have to step outside. So just be aware you might need an umbrella or something to put over your head while you're going. There are some covered walkways that just want to prepare you for that. And then health concerns. We hope everyone arriving will be uh, COVID friendly. Um, we're trying to do everything we can, but uh, we do know that sometimes something will come up ahead of time or something may happen on site, COVID or otherwise. Um, all that we ask, we put a phone number here. Um, this is our on-call events number while we're on site. So starting Monday, August 1st, you can reach us at this number. We will be monitoring that. Um, we can only receive calls and texts on this phone. Um, so if you have anything or you're starting to feel symptoms or anything like that on site, please stay in your hotel room and just call us and we'll see what we can do to help you. And then last but certainly not least, we have social media and we want you guys to be following us as well as sharing your experience for all those who are not with us. So our hashtag is hashtag Mila 2022. So tag us on your Instagram, Facebook, 
wherever you're putting your stuff, TikTok, whatever it is now. So, um, but other than that, we are really looking forward to seeing you in person. All right, where is the agenda? So right now you can see the agenda on our website. I've dropped the link here and we'll also uh, can hopefully drop it in the chat for you. Uh, but the other way, and this is live, uh, we have a mobile app for Mila this year. So um, I'm putting here to download the mobile app for the Cvent app in the App Store. Um, obviously, there is the um, Apple or the Android version, whichever phone you're uh, working with. Um, I put a QR code here so that you can scan that and it takes you right to the Apple Store or uh, Google Store. Um, and all you need to do once you download the Cvent app is search for Mila and download that one. That will take you to the mobile app exclusive for Mila, which has our agenda, attendee information. Um, there's a way for you to put your profile there and upload a picture as well as information. Um, and just make sure if it's not uh, checked there also on your profile to make yourself visible. If you want others to see you, you can message through the app as well as we have a discussion board on there. So take a look at everything that we've got in there but this will be your uh, guide for the week. Um, it also has the maps for the hotel and meeting rooms on there. We dropped a few pins on there to help you navigate around as well, because it is a little bit of a big resort and there will be multiple buildings that we'll be using for meeting space. All right, some travel tips. Uh, some of you may be seasoned travelers. Uh, some of you, this may be your first time traveling. So uh, if it's a little too basic, sorry, we're gonna, but just wanted to give everyone a few reminders. Uh, traveling on the airplane, uh, most of you are coming to us via airplane. Uh, just make sure to arrive at the airport at least two hours before your flight. Traveling has been really crazy with cancellations, delays and everything. So you wanna make sure you get there in plenty of time to get checked in through TSA security and uh, get settled at your gate. I like to arrive early, get my bottle of water on my little things. Brian, not sure if you have something you like to do and share, but um, yeah, those are all those little things and you wanna make sure you have plenty of time to do that. Yeah, absolutely, that's a good point, Nicole. Sometimes you arrive and parking was only available at a different terminal. So depending on how big your, your um, airport is, you may have to hop on a train or go to a different gate. So always get there early, better. Um, there's always a chance that your gate could be switched from when you actually got your boarding pass as well. So again, so many different changes that are happening. Feel free, like I said, to, to get there early, be prepared and um, hopefully a lot less stress when you're there and you can uh, kind of adjust as things are flowing. <laughs> absolutely. Um, so when you check in, if you are bringing a bigger suitcase, because you like to travel with a lot of things, uh, you will, um, once you get checked in, we'll have airline suitcase fees. So if you haven't planned for that, just make sure that you do, you are prepared to pay for that. Um, check with your airline for what that fee may be. Um, they do not charge you to carry on a bag. Uh, it just needs to fit in that nice little small suitcase that they allow on. <coughs> Excuse me. If you do encounter any delays or cancellations with your airline, please follow the airline instructions, but also alert us that maybe you might be delayed because we will be looking out for you and want to make sure you get there safely. So again, I've um, put the phone number for our on-call phone, or you can email us at mila at ship.org to just let us know, or if you're not sure what to do, anything like that. The airline should give you some instructions of what to do, but just in case they don't, or there's a backup and can help you as well. And then wear your ship gear. Um, it's so nice when you're traveling and you see someone else wearing similar things. So you know, hey, that person's going to the same place I am. And uh, it's a small world. So trust me, you will cross paths with people. So make sure and wear your ship gear or something that signifies you're with ship on your way and travel safe. Um, most airline travel right now you are not required to wear a mask, but we do ask everyone respect everyone's wishes, whether they choose to wear a mask or not. Um, I know some areas have been a little bit more um, higher than others surging. Uh, I know in the Dallas area it has been. So um, just if you err on the side of caution and wanna wear your mask, um, just be prepared uh, for that uh, with whatever you need there. 
And then once you get to Orlando transfers. Um, so we have provided in your confirmation email an Uber voucher code. So if you don't have Uber on your phone already, make sure and download that, get that app set up. And then the code that's in the uh, email, you'll just add it to your Uber account. The instructions are right there on how to do that. The Uber voucher code is what is, um, it's basically like a gift card. This is covering your transfer fees to go from the Orlando airport to the hotel on Wednesday and back on Sunday from the hotel back to the airport. Uh, when you get to Orlando airport, it is a big airport and there's two sides and you know, there's, you gotta get your luggage and where you're coming out, but you're gonna make your way to the arrival area um, and there will be a place that says, you know, um, pick up location, but make sure to notice that there will be a little sign above your head that has a number on it. Take a look at that number because when you scroll on the Uber app to do that, it'll ask you what station are you at so the driver knows where to pick you up. So just be aware of that. And then again, as I said, the codes are only good uh, in Orlando from the Orlando airport to the hotel and back. And don't forget to check for your items before you leave the car. Um, I've had that happen where something's gotten left and you have to try to track down the Uber driver to get that item back. All right, Wednesday and Sunday tips. This is about hotel arrival and departure. So on hotel arrival, uh, once you get to the Doubletree Orlando Hotel, which is our host hotel for the week, um, you're gonna go to the front desk and provide your name. Um, have your confirmation number handy. That will be in that email that Teresa Hart sent out to all of you. Um, Check-in time is usually around three o'clock. If you get there a little bit earlier, you can try to see if they have a room available for you, but sometimes they won't and they'll say, well, we can't check you in till three. Um, but they will ask you for a credit card for incidentals. Uh, we did um, send in the emails. If you're having some trouble or you don't quite have a credit card for incidentals, please send us an email at neela at ship.org and we will try to make some arrangements for you. Uh, we don't want that to be a preventive uh, for you getting checked in, but um, you do need to let us know ahead of time if you can so that we could try to prepare that so it goes smooth sailing once you arrive. And just uh, the hotel uh, check-in person will verify your arrival and departure dates. Um, just make sure that they um, are correct. And then if you arrive before check-in time, you can store your luggage with the bell stand. You can enjoy the hotel. They have some pools. They have some fun little areas around there, restaurants. Um, and there's a lot right there close to Orlando as well. So uh, feel free to go explore if you have some time um, and you got there really early that day. And then on Sunday for the departure day, um, you'll get a folio that has all the charges, if any. Um, hopefully there's not too many on there, <laughs> if any. Um, but uh, make sure and check to make sure that's correct before you check out. It's always easier to fix that before you check out than trying to fix it after. So make sure and look at that to make sure you're not having any charges. Um, and then there's, uh, if you have any issues, again, please feel free to contact us on the ship events phone. Uh, we'll be able to um, talk to the hotel and let um, see what we can do to help you. Um, and then make sure you have all of your items. Uh, nothing worse than leaving your phone cord or something or whatever. It's always better to check, um, make sure you have all your items. Um, and then if you have extra time on Sunday, the same thing applies if you get there early. Um, checkout time is 11 o'clock. So if you don't leave, let's say your flight is much later on Sunday and you have some extra time, just store your things at the bell stand. You can still use the pool that day, um, go explore Orlando or anything like that. And then when you're ready, arrange for your Uber pickup at the hotel and then have safe travels home. Um, the other good news, um, just want to make sure and put this out there. Uh, we have arranged so everybody will have single rooms. So I know a few of you have asked, who's my roommate? How am I going to do this? Guess what, everyone? You're going to be in a room by yourself. So it'll also keep you safe should um, anything uh, occur with sickness or anything like that. All right. So Wednesday, that's our first day. We'll be greeting you. We'll be looking for you at registration. Uh, once you 
um, arrive and get settled, um, you'll make your way to the Palms Conference Center. Um, again, on the mobile app, there is a map there of all the meeting space as well as the resort. So you can see where your building is in relation to the Palms Conference Center. And in the foyer there, we'll have registration available. It opens at three o'clock on Wednesday. We will be there every day uh, for registration as well as help desk needs. So anytime um, after Wednesday, if you need anything, feel free to come see um, the events team. We'll be there at the desk. Uh, we will ask you to fill out a COVID safety form. Um, so be prepared for that. And you will also need to take a pre-assessment survey. So make sure you bring your phone or your iPad and have it charged up because there will be a quick uh, question survey that you will have to answer. Um, and then at the end of our weekend, we'll also have a post assessment. But this first time check in, uh, we'll just have a QR code there for you to scan. Uh, so again, make sure you have your phone or iPad. And then the first event, the first event starts at seven o'clock. It's our opening ceremony with our CEO, Chris Wilkie, as well as our sponsor showcase. Um, so we're asking you to show up in your college gear or ship chapter attire if you don't have any. We want you to represent your school. We wanna see your school colors and everything. We're also gonna take this amazing group picture. I can't wait to see this. Um, professionals, you are welcome to join in the college representation too. I know a lot of you are proud of the schools you graduated from, or if you have logo work attire that you want to wear instead to represent where you're working now. We're totally fine with either one. Um, and then we'll have a sponsor showcase as part of that as well. We have a few sponsors who will be joining us. They'll be standing at their tables, but you do not need to bring your resumes. This is a more informal time and way to meet the company reps, talk with them, and learn a little bit more about their companies. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So the other three full days, we've got um, a whole agenda planned for you with uh, speakers, workshops, um, meals, and things like that. So as a reminder, breakfast, lunch, and dinner are provided by ship at the hotel. Again, check the room where you need to go to for the meals. Um, if you need a business center, please check the hotel map. There is one at the hotel. You can access there if you need it for any reason. Attendees are expected to be on time and participating. So um, we want you to wake up and have that great attitude and join us because we have an amazing program for you. And then we'll also have some regional meetups. So this will be your opportunity to meet with um, our regional leaders um, and we'll have some time individuals with each region and those specific regional leaders as well. Brianne, is there anything else you wanna share about the regional meetups? Yeah, I think this is a great opportunity, like you mentioned earlier, to kind of meet people from different regions, different chapters. But during those regional meetups, you'll see on the agenda, the first one is just the opportunity to get to know each other, meet your regional leaders, meet other chapter leaders within your region. Um, on the third, second day, you have the regional meetups. You'll have that opportunity to go over your chapter plan, um, the alignment that you have through your CMT or your chapter management tool. Um, no, Again, no judgment. If you ha just have a draft, we know we just covered it. You know, a little over a month ago um, at CCLP. So just make sure that you bring your CMT, have that type of conversation with your chapter leaders and just kind of have an idea of what you're wanting to do. So that way your regional teams have that chance to kind of get ideas of what you're thinking. You have the chance to share your ideas with other chapter leaders, uh, maybe even have talks of collaboration or ways you can support each other. And then lastly, on the last regional uh, meetup, you'll have the chance to go over your uh, sponsorship packet or brochure. Uh, most of our chapters have them. Again, no hard no foul if you don't have one yet, but at least getting in this opportunity for you to ensure that you have some type of outline or format, something to kind of get started with. We have seen that the chapters that have at least two, the CMT and the sponsorship brochure, are 50% more successful as a chapter in raising funds and executing their chapter plan than the chapters that don't have these two. So again, we're really making sure that you have that dedicated time to get support, to get help, and your regional team can be there to be the uplifting you in this having those resources. So again, no harm, no foul. If this is the first time you're hearing about it, again, it is on the agenda. So make sure you at least have some type of ideas kind of just outlined or written down so you have that chance to share. Um, so we're very excited to kind of see what you have in store for us for this year. Awesome, thanks, Brianne. And then headshots. Um, for those of you who may not have a professional headshot, 
we will have a few select opportunities um, for you to get a headshot. Um, this will be offered for you, but it will be on a first come first serve basis. And we will have a sign up for times for that um, on site. So take a look for that at the registration area when you get a chance, if you're interested in getting one done. Not required, we're just, uh, we have some opportunities, so we thought we would extend it to all of you. And then dress code. Um, so Wednesday, again, is your college attire or uh, ship chapter attire. Uh, Thursday, it's business casual. So just something that you would wear to the office or, you know, uh, not uh, completely casual, but not, you know, black, tie kind of thing. So um, business casual is fine for Thursday. Friday, we're asking you to be in business professional. So think of something that you might wear to an interview or um, maybe church or something like that. Just something a little bit nicer than what you would wear on your day to day. And then Saturday, we'll be providing you with a cream t-shirt. Uh, it's cream colored, sorry. <laughs> um, uh, the color of the t-shirt is cream with um, a logo on it and we are um, asking you to wear casual pants and comfortable shoes. We have a day of wellness planned for you and there will be some activity and things like that so please be comfortable and wear shoes that you can move in. <laughs> um, and then headshots and a group picture will be before dinner on Friday in your business professional attire. All right, so dress code, here's just a sample. So on the left there, you see that would kind of represent something that you could wear with your college attire or something like that. On the right is the cream colored t-shirt that I was just talking about. Everyone will be getting one at check-in. So um, be prepared to have that and have that ready to wear on Saturday. Breakout groups. So we have, like we said, an amazing program for you. Part of the program will be breakout groups. So everyone will be broken up into an A and B group. Um, the presentations are offered um, to match up with that group, as well as within those sessions, um, there'll be designated tables with a number on them. And in each room, each table will be your breakout group. Um, you will have on your uh, name badge a sticker with what group you're in, in the A or B as well as what table number to sit at for those different sessions. So we've already pre-assigned you, so um, make sure to take a look for that, but we'll have it already on your name badge when you check in at registration. And then the um, sessions will go basically a presentation with our sponsor speakers. We'll have some Q&A time, and then we'll have a breakout activity to reinforce what you just learned about. So it'll be great time as well as a lot of interaction. So looking forward to that. And then I mentioned our wellness day. So we wanna feed not just your mind with leadership skills and everything, but we're also gonna feed our mind, body, and soul on Saturday. So I know all of us don't always get a chance to do this. Self-care is extremely important. Brianne and I are big fans of it. So we're trying really hard to make sure and incorporate it in our days. Um, so we are gonna kick off Saturday with, um, we have a yoga instructor and meditation that will happen during breakfast. The yoga is a chair yoga, so please don't worry that we're gonna turn you into a pretzel or something like this on the floor. It's something that you'll be able to do in your chair. And we hope actually to, that you remember it. So maybe when you go back and you're studying at your desk or you're at your work desk, uh, might be a few moves that you might do to help relax you during the day. Uh, we have a wellness activity of, um, it's a kindness rock painting activity we'll be doing. We're gonna walk you through it. Don't worry if you're not a painter, or not an artist, we got you. And then we're gonna have some fun. We are gonna finish up that day with some minute to win it team building activities. We're gonna break everyone up into teams. Uh, we're gonna walk you through it and everyone will be participating at one time or another in that. And it's gonna be super fun. Uh, lots of time to really get to know these people and we are gonna end on a high note. So looking forward to our wellness day. And that really brings us to the end. So at this point, we're gonna take some questions. And uh, again, feel free to put them in the Q&A or in the chat so that we can help uh, answer your questions. So we have two questions right now, Nicole. Um, the first one was, will the recording be shared with us? Yes, uh, once it's done rendering after this, we will be posting this. Um, so uh, I don't know the exact page, but yes, we will be sharing this for all those who couldn't join us tonight. 
Perfect. Thank you, ma'am. Um, secondly, I know you had said like you'll have some type of cover. So does that mean during the events for the conference, will it be at the hotel or somewhere else? Yep. Everything we're doing are, is at the Double Tree Orlando Hotel. You don't need to go anywhere. Um, all the meetings, your meals, everything will be happening there at the hotel. Um, but there are multiple buildings in the hotel because it is a resort. And some of those meeting room, hotel rooms, sorry, um, are accessed outside. So there's some covered walkways to get to the conference center where the meeting rooms are. And I just want to make sure to let everyone know that in case you wanted to bring something like an umbrella or something like that. Great. So you're saying the conference center is a part of the hotel? That is correct. The conference center is on the hotel, but the, conf the hotel does have meeting space in three different buildings. So um, that's why we provided you the map in the uh, mobile app so that we don't uh, get you lost. We'll also have signage around to help you navigate as well. Perfect. Um, someone else said covered everything. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, and we have another question here. Um, could you provide an example of appropriate pants for Saturday? I believe that's for our wellness day. Um, sure. Uh, maybe some yoga pants or casual pants, capris. Um, shorts are fine, but uh, just make sure they're long enough. Uh, so I would say like Bermuda shirts or like longer shorts um, is more appropriate. Um, I know it's Orlando and it's going to be hot. Um, so um, if not like jeans or something, whatever you feel comfortable in and can do some movement in, that's all that we're asking for. Yeah, that's a great point, Nicole. And even though, or I know you were saying Orlando is going to be hot and sticky, we're going to be in a hotel room or the hotel conference, and they tend to be a little colder on the room side. So I would say err on the, on the side of caution, except maybe wear your jeans, or even if you have like you know, windbreaker pants or something that can be comfortable in. Um, Cause like I said, even though it'll be hot outside those rooms tend to be pretty cold. <laughs> yeah, I usually have like a polo shirt on but I'll bring like, I have a actually a little light sweater that I bring. So if I'm sitting in a meeting room and it's too cold even though it's raging hot outside which trust me it is in Texas but I still keep a light sweater just in case for that layering effect. You and me both, I love that. Um, another question, do you happen to know how much the incidental charge will be per day? Um, oh, that is a great question. Um, I don't have it handy, but we will make sure to um, post it out there so that everyone is aware of that. Um, Maybe we can ask it, uh, add, add it to our FAQ page. Yep, I will okay. make sure it's there. So for anyone who doesn't know on our NILA, um, website. You can, you can even just Google ship Neela and it'll come up. Um, we do have a tab at the top that says FAQ that stands for frequently asked questions. Um, so like she said, we can actually list it there so you can get that uh, answer um, and you can always go back and reference other frequently asked questions. Um, so thank you for that, Nicole. Mm -hmm. um, another one, if our Neela shirt size doesn't fit, would we be able to change the size? We do have... Uh, one or two extras. We uh, try to keep it close because we're very budget conscious, but uh, hopefully the size that you provided to us, um, uh, that um, that size will fit, but if not, we'll see what we can do. I can't make any promises, but we'll certainly try. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, to that note, just so you all know, like we order what you uh, submitted. So um, to Nicole's point, we have a couple of extra, but um, we want to be fair to everyone that, that we got what you submitted. Uh, we were kind of true to our word there. <laughs> um, will ice cream be provided from an anonymous uh, attendee? <laughs> um, I will neither confirm nor deny the ice cream offering. So we'll just have to leave that as a surprise for next week. I think you got everyone excited when you said the cream shirt. We're thinking, oh, that kind of. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Had a sweet tooth there, you know. <laughs> oh, wonderful. And then we said, um, there is a social for region seven, but we think everyone's invited. Can you confirm that? Oh. Uh, I'm not aware of a social. I know that there are some meetups, so they are informal the first night. It's a chance for each region and each regional leader is hosting. That's for you guys to have some informal time. There's also informal networking time on Friday night. So that's just open, it's not regional. Um, there is some things on site. There's like a little mini golf place. There's giant checkers. There's also some fire pit areas. And I think we're also probably gonna have something, let's say you don't wanna sit outside or whatever, 
Uh, we're gonna try to do something. I'm not sure if it's gonna be karaoke or maybe sing along movie night. So uh, we're trying to figure out what that's going to be. But if you have some, some favorites, please feel free to let us know. But uh, we are trying to provide something informal for everybody for Friday night, whatever your taste seems to be. Thank you, appreciate that. I think that's all the questions. I think we'll hang on for a couple more minutes, um, but thank you, Nicole, this was super helpful. Um, thank you for everyone who joined us and staying on. As I mentioned, the Frequently Asked Questions page has a lot of other information. We'll be sure to kind of cover that and, and add some of the additional answers and questions that came along with us. Um, again, we'll kind of do a last call for any other questions. Um, we cannot wait to welcome you all to Orlando. This is going to be so exciting. Our first time where we finally get to all be in person again, kind of um, after the, I want to say, as, as the, the end of the kind of COVID craziness. Uh, if you weren't able to join us in, in a convention in Orlando, we had a really great time. So we're really excited to have this collective group of our presidents really come together, really focus on becoming the best authentic leaders that we can, um, and to continue to lead with passion and compassion and, and empathy. So um, very excited, very excited. Um, any last closing words, Nicole? I, I don't see um, any other questions. Very informative call. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate that. Awesome. Uh, thank you. Um, yeah, thank you everyone for joining us tonight. Hopefully we answered your question, but if for some reason we missed something, you have something additional, uh, again, feel free to reach out to us at neela at ship.org. We'll try to get back to you as quickly as we can. Um, and then uh, ship staff will be making their way there. So if for some reason there's a little bit of delay, it's just we need to make our way there as well. So, um, but we will be there and ready to greet you. So safe travels to everyone. And we look forward to seeing you in Orlando. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone.